Graham Ray, once a major cotton farmer in Zimbabwe, is now plying his trade in the Chisamba district of Zambia. Here too, he has made a mark becoming the first exporter of blueberries from Zambia to China. He lost his 1,000 hectare farm in Zimbabwe to an army general and is planning to buy a 15,000 hectare farm in Zambia, but he's not proud about his success in his new country. Obviously, it doesn't make me feel good because I know the potential of Zimbabwe. If, it's a, if it was a net exporter, it can return to be a net exporter. All it needs is the correct policies and you'll be a net exporter. It, it's as simple as that. Let the private sector run agriculture. In 2000, the government of then Zimbabwean president Robert Mugabe seized land from white farmers saying it was reversing colonial imbalances which left black farmers with only infertile land. That led to race move to Zambia. Officials in Zimbabwe did not respond to a request for an interview. Zambia National Farmers Union spokesman Kakoma Calvin Kalei says about 300 displaced Zimbabwean farmers applied to settle here in the early 2000s. He sums up their work in Zambia. Let's look at what they have managed to contribute in terms of production. Wheat production, jumping from 60,000 metric tons per year in 2009 to somewhere uh, averaging between 300 to 420,000 metric tons per year. If you look at the contribution of the Zim farmers, massive, massive contribution. Kalei added that Zambia now exports onions, tomatoes, potatoes, and maize. Ironically, Zimbabwe, once the breadbasket of the region, imported maize from Zambia last year. Kelvin Ambrezia, chairman of Zambia's Food Reserve Agency, says his country wants to earn more foreign currency from the agriculture sector in which the former Zimbabwean farmers are involved. I know of farmers that are doing high-value crops uh, for export. The impact is enormous. You, you, you can't uh, dwarf the impact that they've made or the contribution they've made to, to our agricultural sector. So we, we have benefited a lot, and we hope uh, that they don't go back. But the Ray has other ideas. We, we Zimbabweans, and we would love to go back, but... We've got no choice. We, we have to stay here and we want to stay here because, like I said, the Zambian government's been good to us. And Zambia is benefiting from the relationship. Columbus Mafungam for Viewing News, Chisamba, Zambia.